Hello, everybody, and this is Tamar Rosenberg here in Empowering Woman, so on. So I just want to give you some tips for public speaking. And my passion in life is it's to help women uh, becoming empowered and, and having a vision for their life and purpose in their life. And, and make that true, that's my passion in life. I have my own nonprofit organization that also inspires women uh, to be, to reconnect with themselves and, and have that light that, that we all have to connect with themselves and do better things for others. Basically, that's what, what motivates me. And when I needed to do a public speech, my first public speech, that I needed to stand up and talk in front of 200 people, I wrote everything down, so I was so, so nervous because when I used to do presentations in the university, you know, all those kind of things, even if I had my presentation and I knew what I was talking about, I always, always, always thought that I was going to screw it and I was going to, you know, everybody was going to laugh about me and, and so on. So I just, I'm going to give you three tips. Number one. So my first tip is really to focus the speech that you want to give on the speech itself and not on you. You have to focus on the message itself and how your message will impact them and how much you want them to understand your message at the end. When you focus all your attention to the message itself, you don't focus on yourself. You don't focus on your appearance your hair and if you're smiling or if you are I don't know repeating words or saying the right words or say the wrong words you know we are all human and we all commit mistakes and and I can say something wrong sometimes and if I focus so much my accent or the things that I say I wouldn't say any, anything okay uh, I have a strong uh, Spanish accent so I wouldn't be speaking in English right now uh, doing my videos or doing any any talk that, that I do in English if I, if I feel uncomfortable with my accent or, or the way that I speak. Although, I mean, I, you always need to be aware of your, you know, your your flaws to o o always to become better and train yourself. My second tip, it's that you need to write your bullet points, the things that you're going to say before you say it. Not that you're going to stand with the paper and read it from a paper because that's not going to work. You're never going to remember all the things that you wrote and you're never going to to say it, you know, to read it. And when you read it, you get nervous because you don't concentrate really on the message. You're concentrating on the reading. You don't want to miss anything. So that's when you screw up. When you are in a public speaking, you cannot hold a paper unless you want to read something specifically from a paper, write the bullet points and read them. Read them before you talk. Read them before you, in front of the mirror. Read them to your friends. Read them to your spouse. Read them to someone, to your mother, I don't know, to your best friend that they're going to give you the best advice or maybe just to yourself. Just videotape yourself and just, you know, watch the video a thousand times. I don't know. but. It's important to write because when you write, you concentrate your ideas much better and you can, you know, give, give a much better talk. And of course, you need to practice, practice a lot. Vehicle and my third tip, you have to make it personal. So when you make it personal and you don't focus on yourself and you don't focus on the people, you just focus it on the message. You don't, you don't focus on the, if the people are looking at you, if they're going to laugh at you, if they're going to... Because this is less about you. It's really about the message that you want to do, that you want to send, and how you can help others with the message. When you realize that the speech is not about you, or this video is not about yourself, it's just about others, how to help others, you're going to do much better because you're coming for the, for the right place, okay? And when you connect it with something personal, you change the whole thing, you know? Yeah, the people can connect better with the message, can connect better with you as a speaker. And actually they can look into your eyes and say, oh my God, I know what she's feeling. I know how it's to feel that embarrassed. 
or I know how is to feel that, you know, feeling that she felt because I felt it too many, many times. It's okay if I commit a mistake as long as it's, I gave the message, I send the message abroad and the people understand and the people connect with you. Is that, that's the most important thing with it when you give a public speech. Any topic that you give, that you want to speak about, if you connect it with some personal story or at least to connect it with you in some personal way, how you feel it, how you see it, we change the whole thing and the people will connect and understand your message like this. For me, I believe that everybody need to do a public speech once in a while, even though if that's not your 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 main career. Or so I really empower you to share your story, to share a message that you think you, you think you're strongly passionate about. I really, really encourage you to do it, and when you do it and you be successful, share it, share it with the world. Don't don't think about what others will think about it. Don't think about other comments. Just think about the positive outcome will be after doing that. And when you think about that, you can really think and see the impact on others. And you really, really will make everybody so much happy. And, and, and you really can help a lot of people. That's all I can say. So I really thank you so much for listening to me today. And see you soon. Bye.